good morning good evening good afternoon and whichever time you're watching this welcome to ssc and welcome to the current affairs quiz show brought to you by ssc in which we will discuss 30 important mcqs in quiz format for the third week of august 2022 so let us proceed we have total of 30 mcqs and after each question you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you need to write the correct answer in the live chat box or in the comment box and do check your scores at the end so do participate in the quiz and check your scores at the end that how much you score out of 30 so let us proceed the first question which is the most trusted institution as per citizens poll according to a report released by ipbos so most trusted institution is it defense forces is it indian army is it the police or is it none of the above your time begins now most trusted institution as per citizens poll well the time is over the correct answer to this question is defense forces yes defense forces as per the report released by ipbos is the most trusted institution followed by reserve bank of india which comes at second and in the third it is prime minister of india and fourth it's supreme court and fifth it is cbi or central bureau of investigation i hope you have written the correct answer let us proceed to the next question the next question 2022 Sultan Aslan Saha Cup tournament scheduled will be held from November 15 to 25 in Ipoh, Malaysia. It is related to which sport, which means Sultan Aslan Saha Cup is related to which sport. Is it football? Is it hockey? Is it cricket? Or is it basketball? So your time begins now. Sultan Aslan Saha Cup tournament. It is related to which sport? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is hockey. Yes, Sultan Aslan Saha Cup is an annual invitational international men's hockey tournament held in Malaysia. Why is it invitational? Because it always happens in Malaysia and Malaysia invites all the teams from all over the world to play in this tournament. So it's called invitational tournament and it is a hockey tournament. It began in 1983 as a biennial contest. You can see the details in the PDF. I hope you have written the correct answer. Now, now in the next slide you will be shown some important hockey tournaments at national level so let us see so all these are the important hockey cups at the national level which may come in the exam you will get all this in the pdf let us proceed to the next question the next question what is the name of country's first indigenously built aircraft carrier that is india's first indigenously built aircraft carrier is it ins vikrant is it ins satgiri is it ins vijay or is it ins vikram your time begins now Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is INS Vikrant. Yes, INS Vikrant is India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier, which will be commissioned by PM Modi on 2nd of September. The details you can see here and also in the PDF. So, next question. What is the name of India's first saline water lantern inaugurated by Union Minister of Earth Sciences, Jitendra Singh? So, India's first saline water lantern. Is it Ujala? Is it Kiran? Is it Rosni? Or is it Leher? Your time begins now. Saline Water Lantern. Write the correct answer in the comment box or in the chat box. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Rosni. Yes. Union Minister of Earth Sciences, who happens to be Jitendra Singh, he has launched India's first saline water. Uh, where it is lost uh, here it is saline water lantern rosni which uses seawater to power 
LEDs. So the more details you can see in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. I hope you have written it correct. The next question. Where in India exists world highest single arc railway bridge which recently got golden joint? So India's uh, world's highest single arc railway bridge. Where in India? Is it in Jammu and Kashmir? Is it in Ladakh? Is it in Sikkim or is it in Darjeeling? Your time begins now. Write your answers. Which of the following options is the correct one? Single arc railway bridge. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Jammu and Kashmir. So in Jammu and Kashmir, over the Chenab River uh, lies world's highest rail bridge that is single arc railway bridge and which recently got golden joints more details you'll get it in the pdf and also on the screen so i hope you've written it correct if you want to get the pdf of this session it's quite easy to get it there is a link in the description box uh, you need to click on that link and when you click it you will get a screen like this in your browser uh, it's a payment piece and in the second step you need to pay rupees 30 via any payment method here it is written 50 but this pdf's cost is 30 when you click it you will get it so pay rupees 30 via any payment method and step three after the payment you need to wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically you need not to press any button especially do not press the back button or your pdf will be lost and the fourth step will be after your pdf gets opened in the google drive don't forget to save it in your device else the pdf will be lost so in this way you'll get this pdf of this session and if you want the pdf of all the sessions in sss uh, if you want pdfs of all state national international current affairs and uh, other important topics as well it will cost you 400 what do you get in 400 in 400 you get past 10 months second current affairs compilation past six months national international current affairs both compilation and mcqs uh, in uh, Three, you get Sikkim Current Affairs 175 plus MCQs, that is past six months of January to June. And four, you get past uh, year Sikkim GK Soft, that is of 10 papers. And all further current affairs sessions and important topics PDF, you'll get it in the Telegram for the next six months. So what are you waiting for? It will just cost you rupees 400. Uh, do send a text in the WhatsApp number given on the screen. So this was it. Let us proceed to our next question. The next question, what is the code name of Pan India operation launched by Indian Railways with the aim of improving security of passengers? Is it Operation Yatri? Is it Operation Suraksha? Is it Operation Yatri Suraksha or none of the above? Your time begins now. Pan India operation launched by Indian Railways. Which of the following is the name of the operation? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Operation Yatri Suraksha. Yes, the name of this operation is Operation Yatri Suraksha for improving the security of passengers launched by Indian Railways. I hope you have written it correct. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Which international airport launched Digi Yatra program from August 18, 2022? So, Digi Yatra program or DG Yatra program. I don't know what is the correct pronunciation. Is it DG or Digi? Write in the comment box. Your options are Chennai International Airport, uh, Hyderabad International Airport, Goa International Airport, or Cochin International Airport. Digi Yatra program. Your time begins now. Which of the following airports DK Yatra program? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Hyderabad International Airport, which is also known as Rajiv Gandhi International Airport. It is set to roll out the DK Yatra program for three months from August 18 onwards. So in the next slide, you will be shown some important airports in India and where they are located. So please put your attention in the next slide. So let us see important airports.
well you will get all this in the pdf let us proceed to the next question the next question which central ministry has launched smile 75 initiative is it ministry of home affairs is it ministry of defense is it ministry of housing and urban affairs is it ministry of social justice and empowerment smile 75 initiative your time begins now Smile 75, which of the following ministries? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Ministry of Social Justice Empowerment. What is this uh, initiative? Uh, the Social Justice and Empowerment Ministry has launched Smile 75 initiative for comprehensive rehabilitation of persons engaged in begging. So it is for beggars in 75 identified municipalities as part of the celebration of 75 years of independence. So this is Smile 75 initiative for the beggars in the 75 identified regions. So this is it. The full form of Smile is support for marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise so smile 75 launched by ministry of social justice and empowerment a recent scheme can be asked in exam so let us proceed to the next question i hope you have written the correct answer the next question navroz or parsi new year was observed on which day navroz was it on 9th of august was it on 10th of august was it on 13th or was it on 16th of august your time begins now write your answers in the comment box navroz Parsi New Year. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is 16th August. So, write the day after Independence, Indian Independence Day, okay, 15th August, and then 16th August is the Parsi New Year as per the Sahin Sahi calendar okay so this is it the parsi new year is also known as navaroz so i hope you have written the correct answer let us proceed to the next question you will get all this in the pdf but before moving towards next question in the next slide you will be shown some important dates in the august month for this week so please have a look on the next slide important dates As you can see in the world humanitarian day there is theme also it is mentioned as in exams theme is also asked so the theme is it takes a village you can have a look at other days as well so you will get all this in the pdf let us proceed to the next question the next question who became the fifth ever indian settler that is badminton player to reach world number one spot in badminton world federation world junior boys single ranking is it aditya sharma is it sankar Muthuswami? is it lakshi sen or is it Cyril varma your time begins now fifth ever indian settler that is badminton player to reach world number one in junior boys ranking well the time is over the correct answer to this question is sankar Muthuswami. yes sankar Muthuswami is the fifth ever indian settler to reach world number one st uh, spot so this is it and not only this you can see in the second point here but for the first time in the history of indian badminton we have both the world number one in the junior category that is both boys and girls in the boys we have already seen sankar Muthuswami, and in the girls tasni mir still commands the top spot in the badminton world federation girls single ranking so this is it sankar Muthuswami, boys uh, number one and uh, as you saw tasneem mir is girls number one so you can see all the details in the pdf in the next slide you will be shown the name of important persons who were in news in this week so very important from exam point of view please have a look at the next slide persons in news
so these are the important persons in news for this week you will get all this in the pdf let us proceed to the next question the next question which state government has launched mukhyamantri anuprati coaching yojana mukhyamantri anuprati coaching yojana is it up government is it mp government is it rajasthan or is it haryana government your time begins now mukhyamantri anuprati coaching yojana Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Rajasthan. Yes, Rajasthan government has launched Mukhyamantri Anuprati Coaching Yojana for meritorious students who fail to attend coaching classes. You can uh, see the details in the PDF. So, this kind of questions are asked from the state schemes. So, this is it. Let's proceed to the next question. The next question. Manthan platform, it has been launched by Government of India for what purpose? Okay, Manthan platform. Is it for research and development, R&D, collaboration? Is it for AI or C? Is it for supply chain management or is it for quality assurance? Your time begins now. Manthan platform, for what purpose? Write your answers quickly. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is R&D collaboration. That is for research and development. Okay. So, Manthan platform is basically for this purpose. You will get this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Sadbhavana Divas is observed to celebrate the birth anniversary of which former Prime Minister of India? Sadbhavana Divas. So, is it the birth day of Indira Gandhi? Is it Atal Bihari Baspai? Is it the birthday of Rajiv Gandhi? Or is it the birth anniversary of Lal Bahadur Sastri? Sadbhavana Divas, your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Rajiv Gandhi. Yes, Sadbhavana Divas is observed every year to mark the birth anniversary of India's former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Please write in the comment box that when is Sadbhavana Divas. Here I have not mentioned. So, Sadbhavana Divas is celebrated on which day, observed on which day. And as I said, it is the birthday of Rajiv Gandhi. So let's proceed to the next question. The next question is what is the full form of Namaste and AMASTE which is a recently unveiled central government scheme? Is it national action for mutual sanitary ecosystem or is it national action for Mumbai sanitary ecosystem or is it national action for mechanized sanitation ecosystem or is it none of the above? Your time begins now. The full form of Namaste. It's a central scheme, so it is extremely important. It can be asked. The time is over. I hope you've written the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is National Action for Mechanized uh, Sanitation Ecosystem. Okay, mechanized. That is option number C. So, Namaste. Uh, in the next slide, you will be shown details about this scheme. Okay, because it's a central scheme, so every detail is important. Please go through the slide once. You'll get this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Which campaign was launched to focus on the development of children in the first two years? So, a central government have launched a campaign to focus the development of children for the first two years. Is it? And what is the name of the campaign is the question. Is it Palin 1000? Is it Palin 10? Is it Palin 2? Or is it Palin 100? So, your time begins now. The name of the campaign to focus on the development of children in the first two years of the growth. Well, the 
time is over the correct answer to this question is palan 1000 so the central government has decided to launch palan 1000 what does it mean it means the journey of the first 1000 days for a child to promote early childhood development it has been launched with focus on the cognitive development of the children in the first two years of its life you'll get the details in the pdf so the correct answer is palan 1000 i hope you've written the correct answer let us proceed to the next question the next question Para Olympian Rahul Jakar wins gold. Avnili Khara silver, while Pooja Agarwal bags bronze on 2022 WSPS Shooting World Cup. So the question is, where is the venue? That is, where was this World Cup? Okay, who hosts this uh, WSPS Shooting World Cup? Is it New Delhi, India? Is it Changwon, South Korea? Is it Moscow, Russia? Or is it Reykjavik, Iceland? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. So, WSPS Shooting World Cup 2022 was hosted at South Korea Changwon. Okay, so South Korea Changwon is the correct answer. So, I hope you did uh, written it correct. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question FIBA Under 18 Women Asian Basketball Championship will be held in DAS from September 5th to 11th. So, basically, where is the venue of this FIBA under 18 women's Asian basketball championship. So here actually there should be four options, but one, two options have been merged. Is it New Delhi? Is it Kolkata? Is it Hyderabad? Or is it Bangalore? I'll correct it in the PDF. Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is C, Bangalore. Okay, actually it should be D because it should be the last option. But then uh, Bangalore is the correct answer. As I said, I'll correct it in the PDF. So this FIBA Under-18 Women Asian Basketball Championship will be held at Bangalore. So talking about IBA, uh, International Basketball Federation, FIBA, it was founded in 1932. Its headquarter is at Myers, Switzerland. And the president of IBA is Human uh, Nayang. So it's a static uh, fact. So can be asked. So this is it. So now uh, in the next slide, you will be shown some of the important places which were in news in this week of August. So let us have a look. Places in news. You'll get all this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. What is the prize money of US Open 2022? Pretty simple and straightforward question. US Open, it's a tennis tournament. Okay, tennis grand slams. One of the four grand slam, which is the last one. So what is the prize money for US Open 2022? Is it $60.1 million? Is it $50.1 million? Is it $10.1 million? Or is it $20.1 million? Your time begins now. So the prize money of US Open 2022, that is this year. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is $60.1 million dollars the united states uh, tennis association it has announced on thursday that it is set to award 60.1 million dollars in total player compensation up against last year's 57.5 million dollars so as you can see it is the biggest prize money 
uh, purse at the US Open to date, crossing the 60 million mark for the first time. So 60.1 million dollars is the prize money for US Open. You know, there are other three grand slams apart from US Open, that is Australia Open, uh, French Open and Wimbledon Open. And now this is the fourth one, US Open. The three uh, grand slams has already happened and US Open is yet to happen so this is it if you want a separate video on that please write in the comment box i will make a video separately on uh, grand slams because in spc and even other examinations questions from grand slam has been asked so please write in the comment box so i hope you've written the correct answer to this question as well let us proceed to the next question the next question which state became first har ghar jal certified state so first har ghar jal certified state which is it from India, is it Goa? Is it Sikkim? Is it Gujarat? Or is it Maharashtra? Your time begins now. First, Harkar Jal certified state. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Goa. Yes, Goa becomes the first Harghar Jal certified state and Dadra in Nagar Haveli and Daman in Diu has become the first union territory to be first Harghar Jal. So this is it. I hope you have written the correct answer. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Which district became first fully functionally literate district in the country? Functionally literate. Okay. Is it Villipuram, Tamil Nadu? Is it Gangtok, Sikkim? Is it Kokrajhar, Assam? Or is it Mandela, Madhya Pradesh? Your time begins now. First fully functionally literate state. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Mandela, Madhya Pradesh, option number D. So it's a tribal dominated district and it has become first in the country to be fully functional uh, literate. What does it mean? It means that all the adults in the uh, Mandela district can now perform basic tasks, right? Uh, like writing the names, count and read and write in Hindi. So because of this, they are functionally literate. Mandela, Madhya Pradesh. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question with state government have launched Vidyarath school on wheels so there's a scheme called Vidyarath school on wheels which state government have launched it is it nagaland is it assam is it manipur or is it tripura your time begins now Vidyarath school on wheels with states scheme Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Assam. Okay, Assam Chief Minister, who is Hemant Biswa Sarma, he has launched Vidyarath School on Wheels, a project aiming at imparting elementary education to economically challenged children of the society. So, Vidyarath School on Wheels, it's Assam's scheme. So, this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question What is the name of Union Home Secretary whose tenure has been extended recently? Is it Amitab Kant? Is it Parmeshwaran Ayer? Is it Ajay Kumar Bhalla? Or is it Rajiv Goba? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Ajay Kumar Bhalla. Ajay Kumar Bhalla is Home Secretary. Okay, he was Home Secretary and he will still be Home Secretary. Okay, Union Home Secretary as his tenure has been extended. In the next slide, you will be shown the name of some important Union Secretaries. Okay, so please have a look at the slide attentively. Union Secretaries. You'll get all this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Dahi Handi, 
will be recognized as an official sport in which state so the here andi as you know it is a kind of a ritual performed in janmashtami specifically so it is will it will be recognized as official sport of which state is it maharashtra is it gujarat is it up or is it mp your time begins now the hi handi official sport of which state the time is over the correct answer to this question is maharashtra so the maharashtra cm you know recently elected eknath sinde he has announced that the hi handi will be recognized as an official sport in maharashtra and the state is said to organized a pro the hi handi competition so uh, you can see these two points as well the maharashtra government also announced this that the govindas that is the people who participate in this sport will get a job under the sports category and the third thing is if any govinda loses his life that is the one who participates in this uh, dahi handi loses his life then the insurance of 10 lakhs will be given and if they end up being partially handicapped insurance of 5 lakhs will be given by the government of maharashtra so dahi handi will be recognized as an official sport of maharashtra so this is it let's proceed to the next question i hope you've written it correct answer next which state government have launched a plantation drive called krishna kunj okay krishna kunj is the plantation drive of which state is it himachal pradesh is it sikkim is it chatisgarh is it jammu and kashmir i had even posted this in the community post of ssc sikkim and most of you have answered there correctly krishna kunj the correct answer to this question is chatisgarh okay chatisgarh has launched a plantation drive for krishna kunj a pretty one liner Uh, answers so you can see the details in the pdf let's go to the next question recently monkey pox okay is a typo it's not monkey pox but monkey pox so recently monkey pox test kit has been released what is its name so is it transasia erba monkey pox rt pcr kit is it plastic rapid test kit is it my lab kobe self or is it none of the above your time begins now so monkey pox test kit The time is over. I hope you have written the correct answer. The correct answer is Transasia Erba Monkey Pox RT PCR Kit, option number E. So this is it. It was launched by a uh, principal scientific advisor to India. Okay, this is this name is also extremely important. Ajay Kumar Sood. Okay, Ajay Kumar Sood, principal scientific advisor to the center. He launched it, and uh, this uh, test kit has been developed by Transasia Erba Biomedicals, and so the name Transasia Erba Monkey Pox RT PCR Kit. So the Transasia Erba is the name of the biomedical company which has developed it. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question is. Baby, my story is an autobiography of which of the following leader? Is it Yair Lapid? Is it Benjamin Netanyahu? Is it Naftali Bennett? Or is it Joe Biden? Baby, my story. Your time begins now. All the options in A, B, and C are have been the prime ministers of uh, Israel. One of them is the current prime minister. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is uh, D. Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay, it's not D, but it's B. Benjamin Netanyahu, who is the former prime minister of Israel. Okay, Benjamin Netanyahu is the former prime minister of Israel, and his autobiography is. bb my story yad lapid option a is the current prime minister of israel and naftali bennett was also the prime minister of israel before yad lapid okay and before naftali bennett it was uh, benjamin netanyahu and option number d as you know he is the president of united states joe biden so bb my story is an autobiography of uh, benjamin netanyahu the former pm of israel so this is it in the next slide you will be shown the name of some important leaders which has been recently got elected or reelected in the world okay uh, prime ministers and presidents so please have a look at it attentively recent heads of countries philippines somalia colombia albania israel somalia again east timor australia france hungary 
So these are the recently elected important leaders, presidents and prime minister of these different countries can be asked in exams. So you'll get it in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Recently in August, BIMSTEC's Secretary General arrived in Delhi. What is his name? The options are Tenzing Lekpil, T. Raja Kumar, Jens Stolenberg or Masatsugu Asakawa. Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Tenzing Lepkil. Yes, Tenzing Lepkil is the current Secretary General of BIMSTEC who recently arrived in Delhi. What is the full form of BIMSTEC? It's an organization. The full form is Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Eco Economic Cooperation. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question. Who became the first Indian woman wrestler to win gold medal in under 20 World Wrestling Championship. Is it Pooja Rani? Is it Babita Fogart? Is it Venice Fogart? Or is it Antim Panghal? Your time begins now. First Indian woman wrestler to win gold in under 20 World Wrestling Championships. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Antim Panghal. Yes, Antim Panghal has become the first Indian woman wrestler to win gold medal in under 20 world wrestling championship let's go to the next question the next question is which airport will be named after Sahid bhagat singh very important the uh, one of these airport that is chandigarh airport pakyong airport mumbai airport or delhi airport out of these four one airport will be named after Sahid bhagat singh which is it your time begins now Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Chandigarh Airport. Yes, Chandigarh Airport will be named after Sahid Bhagat Singh as announced by the Punjab's chief minister who is Bhagwant Man. Okay, so this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question. What is India's rank in medals tally at the 15th International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics? So India's rank in 15th International Olympiad on Astronomics and Astrophysics. Okay, was it what is it? Is it first rank? Is it second rank? Is it third rank or is it fourth rank? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is third rank. Yes, India has the third position jointly with Singapore with students winning three gold and two silver medals. So this is it. So with this, we complete all 30 questions. Please uh, comment down your scores uh, in the comment box or in the chat box, how much you scored out of 30. So uh, here we will see some important homework questions. There are four questions which you need to uh, find your answers on your own. And they are the first question, which dance form has been nominated by the government of India to be inscribed as UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list here are the options so extremely important uh, next india's first hydrogen fuel cell bus has been unveiled in which city here are the options write your answers in the comment the third question is india's first indigenously developed rtpcr kit for testing monkeypox disease has been developed by which company i think you should know this we just discussed write in the comment and Fourth, how many medals are won by Indian wrestling team at under 20 world championship? So these are the questions. Please write your answers in the comment box. Now in the next section, we will discuss 15 bonus questions and their answers. Please go through them. So let's pr proceed with the bonus questions.
so we complete the bonus questions how to get the pdf of this session click on the link in the description pay rupees 30 via any payment method and then after payment wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically do not press the back button save the pdf in your device after it opens in the google drive and uh, don't forget to save it because the pdf will be lost if you don't save it so you will get this kind of screen where you can do the payment and you get the pdf of this session and for the pdf of all the sessions which will cost you 400 covering all state national international current affairs what do you get in 400 you get past 10 months second current affairs past six months national international current affairs Sikkim current affairs 175 mcqs january to june past year's second jk sort of the 10 papers and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics pdf in telegram for the next six months all this you'll be getting in rupees 400 and to get it please send a message in the whatsapp at the whatsapp number given on the screen so this is it thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc second if you like this session bye bye see you in the next video